हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन हाउ इज योर डे डिड यू अटेंड येस्टरडे सेशन ऑन फीमेल बिल्डिंग्स रोमैन टुडे वी हैव द जानर शॉर्ट स्टोरी so i have questions for you all the questions are based on university syllabi okay guys our questions today are all based on university syllabi if you read these short stories it will be amazing for you tada okay welcome to this session everyone your first question is oh oh this is not a question identify these short stories are you ready identify these short stories the short story cow of the barricades 1947 is an account of the impact of gandhi and teachings on non violence resistance gandhi and teachings and how does it lead to non violent resistance in british india it is portrayed through the story of a cow gauri who comes every week to meet the master tell me who is the author of the cow of the barricades gauri in the story dies at the end tell me which is the author who is the author these are very important short stories from various university syllabi tell me guys cow of the barricades yes it is by raja rao very good raja rao is the author of cow of the barricades listen everybody these are some of these are very easy but look at the question cow of the barricades published in 47 account of the impact of gandhi and teachings on non violent resistance portrayed through the story of a cow gauri she comes to meet the master who is supposedly mahatma gandhi the end of the story in which gauri dies symbolizes energy purity peace goodness and no selfishness okay so that is the cow of the barricades tada dang thank you apurva next one are you ready rain who is the author of the story rain rain is the story of a missionary's determination to reform a prostitute thank you kuhu rain is the story of a missionary's determination to reform a prostitute oh but it leads to tragedy the story was adapted many many times as films plays and operas very famous short story rain tell me who is the author is it stephen crane ernest hemingway f scott fitzgerald or somerset maugham i am waiting for your answers these are all from various university syllabi guys you will definitely get questions based on this no it is there in our encyclopedia it is there in our encyclopedia so stephen crane was american ernest hemingway was american f f scott fitzgerald was american there is no encyclopedia of american literature so it is somerset mom somerset mom wrote rain determination of a missionary to reform a prostitute and it leads to tragedy theek hai next faithful lovers faithful lovers is the story of a couple who meet accidentally years after their passionate affair at a, at a diner they once frequented 
faithful lovers was once called f first called reunion this short story features a couple who meet accidentally many years after their passionate affair at a diner who is the author faithful lovers prescribed in universities these short stories are prescribed in universities it is do you know who is this margaret drabble faithful lovers or reunion is by margaret drabble very good hello everybody ranjana did you contact our office did you get added to our list guys on march 27th we are going to honor 100 students of tests valets tests who passed net next exam next time you are going to be there okay guys next in the story the kite maker are are kite runner nahi kite maker mahmood is a kite maker by profession and he constantly compares the situation to the old days and the present worlds mahmood the kite maker thank you ranjana hello everyone hello raven bolo guys who wrote the story kite maker mahmood is a kite maker by profession he compares the old world and new worlds oh ranjana ranjana will you send uh, to my number with ranjana i will do it 9037357688 ranjana please whatsapp me now okay mahmood is a kite maker he has two sons one who works in the garage and the other is in pakistan bolo guys who is the other that is right it is ruskin bond you said it right guys it is indeed ruskin bond who wrote the kite maker remember we have taken these authors and questions and books from syllabi okay these are all prescribed in university syllabi the story promotion highlights the identity crisis of a dalit protagonist vagmare who is newly promoted as an assistant purchase officer in the purchase department of indian railway yes annaka machi you will pass i think you will promotion highlights the identity crisis of a dalit protagonist vagmare who is newly promoted as an assistant purchase officer who is the author it is arjun dangle arjun dangle theek hai very good no problem siddharth ready for next question arjun dangle road promotion prescribed in universities in a temporary matter shukumar and shobha a married couple receive a notice from their electric company informing them that for 5 hours their power will be cut off for 1 hour for 5 days sorry for 5 days their power will be cut off for 1 hour the title alludes to both the power outage and their marriage shukumar and shobha who wrote a short story called a temporary matter is it amitav ghosh kiran desai jhumpa lahri or vikram vikram seth yes yes got you ranjana
It is indeed Jhumpa Lahri. You said it, guys. It is indeed Jhumpa Lahri. The Cask of Amontillado is the story of a man named Montresor who seeks revenge against a man named Fortunato who insulted him. In the end of the story, Montresor chains Fortunato to the wall of the catacombs. Tell me, Bolo, the cask of Amontillado. Yes, guys. It is indeed Edgar Allan Poe. You said it right, everybody. That's right. I'm moving on to the next one. The Blue Hotel. Have you heard of that one? The Blue Hotel tells the story of a group of people who experience something extraordinary in the middle of their extraordinary in the middle of their ordinary lives combining symbolic imagery with naturalistic detail it is an existential tale about human vanities and delusions bolo Bolo guys, the Blue Hotel is by, the Blue Hotel is by, yes, it is by Stephen Crane. Stephen Crane is correct. Stephen Crane wrote the Blue Hotel. It is about a group of people who experience something extraordinary. In the middle of their ordinary lives. Next one. The short happy life of Francis Macomber. The short happy life of Francis Macomber is set on an African safari guys. African safari. Do you know? Where is... Uh, Africa, African safari means journey of Africa. The short story is known for its ambiguous depiction of emotions and motivations. Bolo guys, who is the author? It is indeed Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway, correct. A Short Happy Life of Francis Macomber. Remember, Ernest Hemingway wrote many short stories. And he has written, he has traveled to Africa and he has written about it also. Okay, that is it. Next is Victory Lap. Victory Lap is the first short story in a collection. 10th of December. Have you heard of that, guys? Victory Lap is the first sto short story in a collection called 10th of December. It is told from three different points of view. Told from three different points of view. Although there is a third person narrator, the different sections are written in the voice of the character who has the central focus. Guys, remember... These are all stories prescribed in universities. I am asking you to read these stories because they are prescribed in universities. Did you know, guys? It is written by George Saunders. Very good. Victory Lap is the story in a collection called 10th of December. It is told from three different perspectives. And 
it has a third person narrator also the story is about the abduction of a teenager the story is about the abduction of a teenager called alison pope right guys next question are you ready george saunders a passion in the desert that is the story it is structured as a frame narrative a passion in the desert it begins in paris it is structured as a frame narrative begins in paris okay the unnamed narrator and a woman have just witnessed a show featuring trained wild animals wow trained wild animals when the woman wonders if animals have feelings the narrator relates the story of a soldier a panther and their deep bond sounds like yan martel isn't it it is not yan martel it is not yan martel is it gustav flaubert or is it emily zola or nor the balzac the clue guys is that only one of them wrote so many short stories over 90 stories over 90 stories it is indeed honor de balzac honor de balzac okay yes next question the basic theme of the story a dead woman's secret is devoted to family and private relationships basic a dead woman's secret okay devoted to uh, family and private relationships the main characters are margaret the judge the priest the deceased mother this is also prescribed a dead woman's secret do you know the author it is Gade Maupassant. Gade Maupassant is a very major short story writer. This is prescribed in some universities. Okay, the story "Distant Relations" takes place in Istanbul. That is the clue. You know that now. The story "Distant Relations" takes place in Istanbul. It is a tale about a young man named Kemal, who is buying a purse. for his fiance tell me this is also prescribed in universities this is an easy way to learn all all about the stories prescribed in universities it is or hen pamuk it is or hen pamuk i think many of you are studying it you are answering the story chair is about a mahogany chair which is slowly rotted from within by some insects the story chair is about a mahogany chair it's rotting as a consequence of this rot the chair collapses underneath an unnamed dictator it is assumed to be the former portuguese prime minister wow portuguese that is the clue it is about a portuguese story so who is the author who among these writers is from portugal it is jose saramago jose saramago okay the story narrates the life and death of the titular councillor akaki akakevich akaki akakevich he is a government clerk This is set in Saint Petersburg. It is a social satire on bureaucracy. I'm sure you know that one. Akaki Akakevich is a character in Nikolai Gogol. Nikolai Gogol. See, see, guys, in net set etc. They will ask you. 
major short stories that are prescribed in universities. This is a very easy way to know about it. Yes, it is the story, the overcoat. It is the story, the overcoat. Correct. Next, an astrologer's day is a thriller short story. The protagonist is a gambler and a murderer and is ignorant of his own future but becomes an astrologer. Bolo, an astrologer story is the first story in a famous collection. An astrologer's day. It is by R.K. Narayan. First story in Malgudi days. First story in Malgudi days. Okay. Next one. In the postmaster. Don't you know who wrote it guys? The postmaster. A young man from Kolkata is posted to a rural area. There he meets an orphaned girl called Ratan. She draws water for him, cooks for him. The postmaster teaches her to read and write. Everybody knows this one, I'm sure. It is prescribed in universities. It is Rabindranath Tagore. That's right. It is Rabindranath Tagore. Evelyn was first published in the journal Irish Homestead. It tells the story of a teenager who plans to leave Dublin for Argentina. Evelyn in Irish Homestead. She plans to leave Dublin for Argentina with her lover. The story features a circular journey where the result of the journey is disappointment. It is a story, short story from, that is right. It is a short story from James Joyce's Dubliners. It is from James Joyce's Dubliners. A spooky mansion. Are yes or no? A spooky mansion and a brother and sister with strange symptoms. And weird events form the narrative of the fall of the house of Asher. The narrator receives a letter from a childhood friend he had not seen for many years. He is suffering from mental illness. This novel has gothic conventions like omens and portents, heavy storms. Yes, Fall of the House of Usher is by Edgar Allan Poe. Did you like the session, guys? Is this helpful for you? Is this helping you? That's easy. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. The chess players sets two noblemen of Lucknow deeply immersed in chess. Have you heard of the Story, the chess players. Two noblemen of Lucknow are deeply immersed in chess. They are oblivious to everything else. There is a larger chess game that is happening. The annex annexation of Awadh by the British. But the chess players are not bothered when their king is captured. They fight to protect the pawns of their artificial battlefields. This is a pervasive, there is a pervasive sense of weariness and inertia throughout the story. Yes, it is Premchand. Premchand's story, The Chess Players, is famous. Premchand's story, The Chess Players. Araby is the story. That narrates the frustrating wait of a boy to get a gift for his girlfriend from a fair. A boy is waiting to get a gift for his girlfriend. After much struggle, he somehow gets permission to go to the fair. But his uncle gets drunk and is late in returning home. And the fair closes before the boy reaches the fair. That is right, Araby is a story from James Joyce's 
Dubliners. Araby is from James Joyce's Dubliners. The purloined letter involves the quest for a stolen letter which is used to blackmail a member of royalty. A member of royal family is going to be blackmailed with a letter. Regarded as an early prototype of detective fiction, it is also the subject of debate between Derrida and Lacan. Who wrote it? Is it Jacques Lacan, Jacques Derrida, Honor de Balzac or Edgar Allan Poe? It is Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe wrote the purloined letter. Kabuliwala is set in Calcutta, telling the touching tale of an Afghan dry fruit seller with a little girl. Afghan, uh, his relationship with a little girl to who, with whom he develops a fatherly affection. Are, 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 this is so easy. Bibudi Bhushan Bandap Andhyabhathyai, not Bhattacharya. Okay, the story sharply contrasts the innocence and affection. Bolo. Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore wrote Kabuliwala. That is easy. Toba Tek Singh is a bold and powerful satire on Indo Pak relations. It recounts the farcical initiative to transfer inmates from a Lahore asylum to India following partition. From Lahore, asylum, uh, inmates are brought to India. The story features an insomniac sick man whose gibberish has caustic comments on Indo Pak and keeps asking where his native village lay post partition. Is it in India or Pakistan? Yes, it is Sadat Hazan Manto. Manto wrote Toba Tek Singh. Very good, guys. Are you loving the quiz? Or is it boring? I hope you are loving it. There are two more questions. I hope you liked the video. There are only 35 likes. Will you please like the video, dear friends? Please like the video. It will be a great help. I will give this uh, PDF in the Telegram group. Okay, guys. Okay. In the telltale heart, the narrator relates with relish his murder and dismemberment of an old man. The victim's loud heartbeats apparently madden the narrator. Telltale heart. The narrator believes he can hear the corpses still beating heart and confesses his crime hysterically. Bolo. Bolo. Telltale heart. It is easy. Many of you would know. Telltale heart is by Yes, Edgar Allan Poe, who else? Guys, this uh, list of your short stories are all taken from universities, okay? They are all taken from university syllabi. Solid Objects, wow, that is the title of a story. Solid Objects starts with two friends on the beach finding a broken piece of glass that slowly grows into a neurotic obsession with one of them. The central character drops his political ambitions, chasing after seemingly unimportant trinkets. The story shows the relationship between art and life through suggestive and ambiguous metaphors and symbols. Solid objects. Bolo. Two friends on a beach. Many of you know the answer. Solid 
Solid objects is by Virginia Woolf. Virginia Woolf. They find a broken piece of glass that slowly grows into a neurotic obsession. Wow. That is awesome, guys. So that brings us to the end of this session. I hope you liked the short stories that we discussed with you. I will do more of these because it will help us immensely. You know, to understand all the stories like this in one or two lines. And then answer them in the exam. Thank you so much. Today's session is only half an hour. Sorry for that. Thank you for joining me so much. Good night. God bless you. Tomorrow we will do another genre. Take care. Bye-bye.